Welcome. How you doing? Is everything all right? Well, maybe not. But you're at the Way Back Church for the Way Broke Stuffers. Come on in. Yeah. That what you lost at Target, you're still trying to find. Oh, yeah. But that's all right. Those bill collectors, they may be calling you day and night. Ring a ding ding, and you're thinking of changing your number, right? But that's okay. Stop pretending you're Abigail, whoever you are, when they call and they said, This is a debt collector, and we want your money. And you go, It's not me. You got the wrong number. You got the wrong person. And then they have the nerve to say, do you know that person? Like they have authority. And you go, no, I don't. But it's all right. You're at the way back church for the way broke stuff. First. Where you thought money was king in your life. But now it's dried up as those rice and beans you've been eating last all the way from last month. But it's okay. We are here for you at the Wayback Church. We know what you're going through because we've been through it. Well, I don't know about the head pastor, but you know, things happen, things happen wherever he may be. But I'm your senior pastor, Cash Bear Mama, for today of the Way Back Church, for you way broke stuffers, for, for you who can't seem to find enough money, or you got your money together, but all of a sudden you went to Little Jinky's shop downtown that he just started yesterday, and he had a fake Gucci purse that just looked fabulous for $458. And you say, oh, little jinky, I got to have that. And he says, I give you a discount of $2 off. And you pull out your grocery money, and you pull out your gas money, and you pull out from your kids' college fund that you have stuffed in the first place, and you go, little jinky, here we go. $2 discount is just wonderful. I will look good with that purse. And you deep down that conscious in the back of your mind is going, you are an idiot, <laughs> but you have to have it. It just went that way, but you're okay. Then your kids come, I need cookies for school. I need this and that. You just spent your grocery money. Little Jinky's down the street running around with your money. He even closed his shop spending the money. I don't think the shop is going to last too long from what I hear around here. But this church is here for you. And I want you to know the past is over. Anything that you did in the past, it's time to forgive yourself and start anew today, this minute, this hour. And go, I messed up the budget. I got to fix it and change it to help me, myself, and I, so that I have enough money, so that I can walk into the way back church for the way broke stuffers and say, I did it. I'm not broke anymore. I know where my money is. I got my money and I'm okay. So that's what we're here for, to help you. And today, I want you first again, Forgive yourself. We all make mistakes. We are not the higher ups. We don't have maybe money flowing or maybe we did and we lost it. And I want you today to figure out what is your goal with all this? What is your real goal? You know that goal that, that you're scared to tell people about? Because you know they're going to laugh at you. Well, they won't be laughing no more if you reach that goal or even get to the tip of that goal. They won't laugh anymore. And what they're going to do is, how did you get there? Maybe you, your goal is to lose weight. 
Well, maybe you won't make your goal. Maybe you lost enough weight to generate a little bit of interest to, to people saying, you didn't lose all of it, but look what you did. That's all you got to worry about. Stop worrying about other people. They, they, people are going to be in this world talking about other people, doing what they're doing, and some of them are going to still be broke. But we at the Wayback Church, for the way broke stuffers, will not be broke again. We are going to manage and manifest our money. We're going to get what we're going to get. We're going to do what we're supposed to do. And there will be times when we mess up and we feel that urge to go out. And I just got to stop at McDonald's. I just got to stop at Burger King. I just got to go to that fancy restaurant they built down at the mall. I got to go downtown. I got to buy this. You're going to fall. You're going to mess up. You're not going to have enough money sometimes. But you just come on back to the Waybrook Stuffer Church and we will be here for you. Today's message really is about goals. You have to have a goal. I, not really goals. I want you to have one big goal. What are you working for? What are you really getting that you wouldn't tell anybody because they're going to laugh at you? Okay, you may live in like a house like Little Jinky does. It's got wood and holes and air coming through the walls, but Little Jinky has a dream. He said, I'm going to have a house with five bedrooms. Every bedroom is going to have a bath bathroom and every and I'm gonna have bathrooms downstairs so when people walk in and I'm gonna have a fabulous place living room dining room blah 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 little jinky all he got is the money that I gave him right now but I'm not gonna buck his dream right I'm not gonna buck his dream and let me correct myself I didn't give it to him you gave him little jinky the money but anyway <laughs> And I didn't buy a purse. But back to the story. But anyway, had to correct myself. But he's got a dream. And he nobody's bursting his dream. They laugh at him. They write about him. He's got a little YouTube account. And they be writing comments like, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't going to get it. People he don't know. Quit worrying about them people. They don't know you. Nobody knows you but you. Really, even your family doesn't know you. There's parts of you that nobody knows. And you keep them, you will keep them and keep them and keep them till the day you die and past the day you die. So, you know, nobody really knows you. Even though you may say stuff and actually say, I'm going to come clean and tell you about myself. You didn't tell all of it and you never will. It's not going to happen in this lifetime. There's only one person that knows everything about you and it's okay. You know, we all got little parts that just not interested in telling everybody about. But this you can keep to yourself, but I want you to have a goal. So I the pastor of the Way Back Church, of the Way Broke Stuffers, is going to tell you my goal. And I don't care if you laugh. I don't care if you cry or smile about it. But this is my goal. This is my dream. I hate envelope stuffing, and you know I do. And so I'm not interested in that part. I'm interested in this number right here. And just hold on. You'll see me, Pastor. One million. I'm not interested in the start date. I'm not interested in the start end. My goal, one million dollars. I'm going to stuff with the rest of you broke stuffers and some of you in between getting ready to go up higher into the world that I'm generating 
one million dollars from all the things we're doing and i know i don't know when this is going to happen but i'm going to bless myself and bless everybody else that we are going to make it now your goal may not be one million dollars it may be like down here it could be a hundred thousand dollars it could be 20 it could be 10 it could be i'm manifesting a new car i've did that before yeah i got the car i'm manifesting a new house did that before got the house yeah there were some jealous people there's people that don't talk to me because they didn't believe it was going to happen and when i invited them to a housewarming they were sitting there looking at the house and looking at me and i know they were wanted to say but there was too many people here how did you do this because i'm a member of the way back church of the way broke stuffers and you have to believe in yourself always and that goal that they're laughing at at you there's something wrong somewhere because they don't believe in you you have to believe in yourself you are your biggest cheerleader remember that you are your biggest person that's standing back there holding you up when you fall you're the biggest person that tells yourself, I messed up, but I'm coming back because I'm blessed. You have to pay yourself first. You have to take care of your family, your family, if you have a family. If not, you're just taking care of yourself. And sometimes there's going to be people sabotaging. It may be your family, maybe your brother, your sister, your mother, maybe your best friend, maybe your grandpa and grandma. It's going to be somewhere or somebody you don't even know. So you, while you're going on your journey, make sure you watch what you're doing and watch where you go and watch how you're doing and keep track of your money and don't deal with too much with the debit and the credit cards. If you can't handle it, because that's why we're in this church, we can't handle the debit and the credits. If you can't handle it, get rid of them. If you can handle it and you think you can handle it, okay. But right now, if you fit, really feel that, put them in a the drawer, lock them up. Those debit and credit cards can get some people in the mess. This pastor of the Wayback Church, of the way broke stuffers is not dealing with the credit debit thing because they're a trigger for me and i've already experienced it i tried to do it it's not working i was going to get ready to pull it out again without it being in my budget so blessings to you and i hope everything's going on right because my goal is the million dollars and you can laugh all you want to but you know if i added up everything that i made for my jobs and everything before i had six hundred and sixty five thousand dollars and we blew it we all blew it it's gone so why don't you sit here today and add up when you started working till now and how much money did you really have and where is it? I mean, can you see it? Is it in the house? Is it the house? I'm not talking about net worth. I'm talking about what did was your income coming in? And sometimes you got to do some extra hustling and that's what's happening with me. We are hustling because we are headed to that million dollar option. We are headed toward dreams beyond dreams. I'm not going to worry about little jinky and everybody else laughing. So we're okay. You can laugh all you want because I've already been in that situation. And what happens is the laughers stop laughing. They start wondering, how did you get where you got to be? So, welcome. That's the end of my sermon. And you may go your way. 
coffee and cookies have been provided by none other than the cash bear mama so enjoy your day happy goal manifesting